a scary few minutes. But health experts say nosebleeds are common in children between the ages of 3 and 10. About 50% of kids will have their first episode by 5 years of age, and close to everyone has had at least one episode by the time they are adults. Dr. Pierre Laredo, a pediatrician with Lee Memorial Health System, says the causes behind a nosebleed can vary. The causes vary. You could have mucosal irritation, uh, dryness within your nose, or even be in a low humid environment. But the most common cause for children is nose picking. Especially if you have a child who is a nose picker, uh, you want to go ahead and use a little Vaseline or any petroleum based product and just put that in their nose. If a child has a nosebleed, you want to make sure they're leaning forward, not leaning backward. Then pinch the soft part of their nose shut. And inside your nose, you have a lot of blood vessels, and these are close to the surface. So if you have dryness within those nose, uh, you could have those blood vessels get very dry and nick. But if a child has frequent nosebleeds or nosebleeds that last longer than five minutes, it's a good idea to check with your pediatrician. Absolutely, you could have blood disorders that prevent the coagulation uh, process. So normally when you have yourself bleeding, you have these things called platelets, and the platelets adhere to each other, and by adhering to each other, that stops the bleeding. But he says certain diseases could prevent the platelets from adhering to one another, so it's important to have the problem problem checked. Fortunately, in most cases, he says children will either outgrow nosebleeds or learn to manage them. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Lindsay Fry. It's awful.